For most of his 16 years in the Senate, Harry Byrd has been an independent who votes with the Democratic caucus, a situation that has pleased neither the Democratic or Republican Party back home in Virginia. But Byrd's popularity has kept both parties from mounting any serious challenge to him. That may change next year. The Republicans are pushing Byrd to come over to their party, saying they may take him on if he doesn't. The Democrats are watching what the senior senator decides to do, too, hoping for a three-way race, two conservatives against their moderate. So at the moment, the ball is definitely in Harry Byrd's court. He's got a key decision to make, and it's that decision that's going to cause all the other pieces to fall into place. And we've seen how quickly an election can turn around uh, in the last week of a campaign. So obviously one that's a year away uh, is truly and absolutely unpredictable. To Sabato, the fact they were even talking about the next campaign so soon after the last one is bad. The time has come, he believes, for Virginia to join other states in scheduling gubernatorial elections in off-presidential years, meaning, for instance, in 1986 instead of 85. This is ridiculous. We have a major election every single year. And uh, I think the voters are tired, the parties are tired, the candidates are tired. We overlap. We were talking about the Senate race during the gubernatorial election. We were talking about the gubernatorial election during the presidential election, and on and on and on. And uh, uh, I'm hopeful that eventually we'll, we'll do something about this crazy and ridiculous uh, uh, election schedule that we have in Virginia. In Richmond, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.